What's up, everybody? It's Cash Flow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets with Ichimoku analysis. And today, we will be taking a closer look at XRP, you know, the channel's favorite asset. All right, you guys. So, without further ado, I just want to say how y'all doing, and I hope that all is well with everybody because we are going through crazy times. But you know, stay focused on the task that on the task at hand. We know that everything is setting up for XRP to go higher. Uh, we know that the, in the news lately that they're promoting, uh, you know, things that are going on as far as the riots. They're they're trying to get everybody's attention off of what's going on behind the scenes, and we know that XRP and Ripple is about to make a huge statement in the community. So, guys, keep holding strong. Keep, you know, your faith going and keep seeking Jesus Christ. And before we get into anything, I want to give you guys a scripture to read, and I want to give you guys a, you know, I'm going to start doing subscriber shout-outs again, so definitely hit the like button. It helps this channel grow, and definitely subscribe for future content, you guys, because I'm going to be posting a lot more. I'm just getting started. Um... I've been working on my with my students a lot lately because you know they are getting really good at trading. Uh, you know, one of my students said he doubled his account uh, with two trades that I put out. So I'm ex I'm I'm a happy teacher right now. I haven't been posting like you know I have been posting, but not as frequent as I want to because I am trying to you know help my students and I got business deals that I'm also working on doing as well behind the scenes so my time is very valuable at this point so I'm not as uh you know able to give as much as I like so but when I do you guys will know and you will see a major difference but today's scripture is coming out of John 17 6 through 26 I'm not going to be reading it I already read it today. I want you guys to, you know, take initiative to read the Bible for yourselves. God said, you know, study that self-approved. And he, he's looking for us to, you know, really seek him ourselves. Um, I just want you guys to read this, meditate on this scripture for the whole week. I'm going to be reading this scripture the whole week and meditating on it. Um, God's about to do a major move. Um, and we are we're about to see some miracles happen soon so be watching be vigilant and continue to strive for the higher calling in jesus christ um so subscriber shout out i have made a promise uh subscriber shout out goes to dennis peck thank you man for you know watching my videos uh, being a subscriber and uh you know show me some love man i appreciate that so much so god bless you i appreciate you so much Thank you. So let's go ahead and get into this analysis with Goku. Uh, right now, on the daily time frame, as we're looking at it, um, XRP is uh, Ichimoku is showing a buy opportunity uh, on XRP. Um, but we will see if that's true and how true it is, because right now it's 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 still hard to say how the market's going to play out. So first of all. I'm going to take off Ichimoku and break it down, you know, with that eye. So we're looking at it from this perspective. Um, we It looks like price could drop. And the reason why I say that is because right here, we look at it. We have this bullish candle that formed and then immediately we had a bearish candle. And this is usually called a dark cloud cover because if we look back at it, a dark cloud cover formation is when price is going up and it finally meets resistance. And then when we have a resistance, we have a bullish candle and then a bearish candle that exceeds 50 to 60%. And you see this is exceeding more than 50% of the previous candle here. So we see that price is pushing down here. And you see right here, price is trying to push down as well. Still have three hours and 13 minutes for this daily candle close, so anything could happen. But when we take a look at it with Ichimoku, that changes everything because right here is what I'm saying. We have a bullish TK cross. Let me move this blue line for you. We have a bullish TK cross right here. We have a bullish signal right here. But we have to understand that right here is resistance. All right. 
even the no cloud is showing us resistance right here at the top so this span a if you guys watch my follow my channel uh to know by now you know this top line here of the cloud is secret span a and the bottom part is b uh, so b a secret span a is acting as resistance right now so right now what needs to happen price needs to hold at this level to push higher we are getting rejection at this level so we'll see if it price could hold here so we have to go to a smaller time frame to confirm that so this is what i'm seeing right here on the the I see what I see on the daily as well. I see that secret plan A is coming up. So that means bullish while this is flat, showing that it's not, you know, this was the going this way. So, and you see this was going this way. So, uh, A was going up, price was going up. This is remaining flat, but we need to get above here for uh, this Kumo twist to start from right here. That's how we get our cloud from upside. So, we don't have that just yet. We just have price or just in this range. Market's just ranging here and here. All right? Now price is moving right now. So, I don't see price, you know, no op trading opportunities, you know, on the daily time frame. But we do have a bullish signal. So, that's, that is our first confirmation there. So, coming down to the four-hour time frame. Go ahead take the cloud off real quick to break it down even further so price has been shrinking up and holding this resist this support here this trend line support here i actually told my students to watch this area because we had a spinning top candle right here oh this could be, this could have went 50 50 to the upside or the downside but usually it's a reversal so we see that price is still continuing upside so i do like that as well so that for that reason alone, I'm in bullish. But here we go. So let's take a, put the cloud back on real quick. So let me take this off really quick. All right. So what I see here, we have a thick cloud here, a really thick cloud. So this is showing us that there's a lot of volatility during the market, which is pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I don't like here, a secret span A is flat and B is flat as well. So this is not a good sign that price will move higher. We need this start angling off like this for prices to go higher. So there's no trading opportunity here based off the four hour time frame unless you're trading price action, you know, catching a bounce and trading it to the upside or break out to the downside. So there's still no opportunity here on this time frame. So um, looking at it, breaking it down here. So let's start going on some other indicators that we that I used for my entries. So here, I'm gonna break it down because I like what I see here because I think price is going to continue to the upside. I believe we'll reach 21 cents again and break this level to go higher, but I'm gonna explain why based off of this. So our main line, our, so I'm gonna break it down here. Our green line our, on our RCI is the overall trend, right? Even though it did break the zero, that uh, 80 line here, it's still above the zero. So we're still bullish in bullish territory. The midterm trend, the midterm trend is going down. So I don't like that, but we are at a support at this moment. So what we could see based off here, we could come down at least to this level or probably even down here, bounce up. But I'm thinking this trend line is gonna hold, take us higher. So I'm not worried about it. We'll start probably start seeing a move right here. And then our signal line is heading up. Once it crosses, we have to get a good cross above this AB line. Because once this signal line crosses here, we should see this starting to do a U-turn back to the up. And I'll show you an example. Like back here, you saw it start doing a U-turn back to the side at this point. So that's what I'm also seeing as well. And then we also had hidden bullish divergence you see on the ultimate oscillator is coming down well, price is steadily going to the upside so we have hidden bullish divergence there so valuation divergence if you want to say that so i see price continuing to the upside in this regard so i'm bullish right now uh this right here is just a clutter of disaster just 
I'm ignoring this. I'm going based off the the trim line here. This Ichimoku, you know, sometimes it doesn't give you the best signals, but you have to use other analysis with it. So you have to read the candles, like price price action, and you have to read what the cloud is telling you. So the cloud is telling us here that it's just been ranging. It has been ranging. So price is stuck here. So where we're going to enter at, we have two entry points, either above this level, because once we break here, we'll get back above. If we zoom out this way, this is where our current level of use is at. And the next level is breaking this candle high, then moving to the side. So there's two ways to enter. The safer way is up here. The you know the more aggressive approach would be above this candle high level. So that is my analysis for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think XRP is about to make some real moves in the market very soon. So stay tuned for that, you guys. I will be putting out some more videos very soon. Uh, in the comment section, let me know if you want to see more frequent updates on XRP. Uh, I know there's some people that you know, they don't really look at anything else. And basically, most of my channel is basic on, basically on XRP and how it's been you know, developing over the years. But I do occasionally put out videos of other um, currencies and assets that people also like to trade and uh, look at. Um, but let me go, let me know what you guys think. Comment and subscribe, and holla at your boy. All right, peace.